The word for meditation, bhavana, means to develop. You're not just letting go, you're also developing good qualities in the mind. And that requires persistence. You should just stick with it again and again and again. Try to make your awareness as continuous as possible. That way you get to see things you miss otherwise. We start out with momentary concentration, where we're focused on a topic, and then we blank out slightly, either because there's something comes up that we don't like, or either there's just simple boredom. Then we find ourselves someplace else. Then we blank out a bit and find ourselves someplace else. When you're blanking out, a lot of really interesting things are happening, but you're not seeing them. So the whole purpose of staying with the breath and trying to stay with it all the way in, all the way out, and all the way in between the in and out breaths, is to get to see those things that you normally turn a blind eye to. So work at making your awareness as continuous as you can. If you can manage it for five breaths and then lose it, okay, then the next time around resolve it, okay, at least seven next time. Don't set impossible goals for yourself, but at the same time keep pushing the envelope. Because the continuity allows you to see things. It also allows the mind just to settle down and feel right being here. If you settle in, but then you're planning to leave, you're, you're, you can't fully settle in. You're going to tense up. It's like a cat jumping from one piece of furniture to another to another, knowing that when it lands it can't stay there, so it's immediately going to tense up again. Get ready to jump again. But if the cat's on the floor, we can spread out and really relax. So try to give your mind a good floor to settle on and be there as continually as you can. You get, you get some rest. You also get to see things you didn't see before. The little conversations in the mind that precede a distraction. When part of the mind decides it's going to go for the opportunity to have a distraction, then it's going to pretend that it didn't say that. But the idea has already been planted. And there will be other parts of the mind that will pick up on it, so that when you do lose your mindfulness, you do lose your alertness, they're going to take advantage of it. You have to see these things in action so you can counteract them. I hear some people say that there's nothing to figure out in the meditation, just be with whatever comes up. But there's a lot to figure out because you're not just going to be there. The duties of the Four Noble Truths don't include just being there. You're trying to comprehend the suffering in the mind so you can see what's causing it, so you can let go of the cause. And in the meantime, you develop the path. Those are the things you're doing. And these are a set of duties that are here for your own advantage. It's not like so many of the other duties in the world where they impose duties on you for their sake. These duties are duties for your sake, for the sake of your genuine happiness. So be happy to follow them, even when they're difficult, even when they require effort. Be confident that it's going to be effort well expended, and the rewards will be more than worth the effort you put into it.